I just named them Randy Moss, nigga, thugging in my Reeboks. Jerko make them beatbox. What's up, gang? What's up? What it do? It's your girl, Roshina. Yep, and I'm back with another video. How y'all doing? It's 8 a.m. How you doing? How you doing? I hope everybody is doing well this a.m. I'm kicking just fine, y'all. I woke up. Anytime I wake up, I know one thing. I'm better than blessed. So, hey, what I'm complaining for. Anyway, y'all, what y'all got going on today? As for me, I'm chilling. I guess I'm chilling. Um... Of course, I've been up since the, the crack of dawn. I think I got up around 4.35. 4.30, yeah, somewhere up in there. But, yeah, mosed along. Then I dozed back off for a little while. Anyway, yeah. Um, what, I, what was going on? Oh, yeah. Oh, let me get a quote or thought of the, of the day before we go any further. Quote of the day. There are two ways of spreading light. You can either be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. Again, there are two ways of spreading light. You can either be the candle that reflects the light or you can be the mirror that reflects the light. Which one you going to be? Which light you going to be? Be one of those lights, y'all. Shine bright like a diamond. You feel me? Let everything we do be a positivity. And um, yeah, that's a way of shining your light at all times. Stay positive. Stay positive. Anyway, so guys, I want to get into this um, subject that um, I had. It's been about a week now, I think, that I've been wanting to talk to you guys about this particular um, subject. So there's this daycare center in Mississippi. Um, apparently, they have these um, seven of their employees have been arrested for tormenting and scaring the kids, y'all. What kind of shit is this? So the, 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 um, the workers of the daycare thought it would be a good idea to put on a screen mask and go around and torment the kids, you know, one by one, just scaring the daylights out of why they scream, holler, and cry. So they thought that was you a know, good thing. I've known us to do uh, many of things in school, you know, Halloween parties, different stuff, but we got to be very careful. Uh, where we send our kids, who we let watch our kids. I don't care if it is a daycare center. They not always safe. We be um, so caught up in no will. I don't want nobody. I want my kids to be in the center thinking they're in, a, in great hands because they're in the center. That is not always the case, guys. That is not always the case. I'm going to insert this clip in here. Five former workers at a Monroe County daycare are facing charges after a cell phone video was taken showing them scaring toddlers. Allie Martin with our affiliate WCBI in Columbus has the ladies on the case, a case that has made international headlines. The investigation began after a video was posted showing workers at Lil Blessings Child Care and Learning Center in Hamilton wearing a mask from the movie Scream, scaring children. <laughs> the daycare owner fired all employees involved and reported the incident to the Mississippi State Department of Health. Earlier this week, Monroe County Sheriff Kevin Crook and investigators met with some parents whose children were in the daycare at the time of the incident. Three sets of parents filed felony charges against the former employees. The parents that we had talked to in that meeting, um, there were some that were certain they wanted to file right. felony charges. And the only felony charge that this could, could possibly fit in was uh, felony child abuse under section uh, subsection 1D and uh, that dealt with the improper uh, supervising of the kids and that led to their neglect and and uh, possible uh, substantial uh, trauma mental trauma from from what they were going through 21 year old Sierra McCandless 28 year old Oceana Kilburn 25 year old Jennifer Newman and 28 year old Cheyenne Shelton Mills are all charged with felony child abuse. 44 year old Tracy Hudson faces failure to report abuse by a mandatory reporter and simple assault against a minor. Both are misdemeanors. 
Caitlin Johnson's two-year-old son Pierce is seen in the video being chased and picked up by the worker wearing the mask. Johnson hasn't followed. Huh? But anyway, so I said all that to say this, y'all. We gotta check in on our kids. Check it. I always, I've always sent my kids to school to daycare early because I had to work. My husband and I had to work all their lives. We've been working. We working parents. So we both had to work. There was not ever a time that we both didn't have to work. So the kids had to go to daycare. But I, I was feeling, you know, I would do my homework about these daycares. I would pop in on these daycares. You just not going to, you never know when I'm coming. And when I'm coming, I'm coming. I, 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 that was just something I always did. And um, a couple of times when my kid, when I had my only, when I had my first kid, I had just one kid. So that was like a trial and error. I mean, it wasn't trial and error, but it was a learning experience, shall I say. I quickly noticed that because that's when I realized that because your child is in a daycare center does not mean that these people are perfect. They they have your, your kid's best intentions at hand and they are good at what they do. It don't mean none of that. So a few times that I popped in when I had just that one child during my learning experience, I learned a lot of things that, that is very important for me to pop up and the different things. And I also felt like it was important that these kids know how to communicate, you know, because that when she first started going, she was not able to communicate and things was happening all the time, you know, uh, beyond my understanding. Her earrings were missing, always missing. They they saying she take them out. How in the hell my daughter take them earrings out that you got to screw out? She never take them out at home. You know, these are real diamond earrings that were coming up missing. After the second time, I was like, drove, like, what are we doing here? And then things started happening, like, um, her clothes would come up missing. You know, you see your kids with extra clothes. She would never get her clothes back. I'm, I'm spending good money. I don't care. Yeah, they was name brand clothes. My child was young. They were name brand clothes. I, I'm going to need those clothes back. Then her tennis shoes. You know, just different things was happening. Or she may be scratched up. Or she may, you know, just different. I'm talking scratches was happening all the time, the little boo-boos. And then they would try to tell me that um, my daughter was the aggressor. No, my daughter was tired of being picked on. Yeah, she learned how to defend herself. So we got to check on these kids when, when they're in these um, facilities. My child, because she didn't know how, she, how did she know how to, you know, um, be combative, you know, hit. And she was the only child. She learned, that was learned behavior, and she had to learn how to start defending herself. They taking her shit. So that's how that got started. Yeah. Anyway, that was my thought on that. I was just too outdone with that. And um, I haven't seen anything else that happened. No, that was the only report that I got on that. So I've been trying to follow the story to see what happens next. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Grow up. Screen these people. Somebody. And then to say you got children of your own, let's see your kids go to school uh, Monday morning and get mistreated by their teacher or their teacher's aide. Because you, you, you got to be, you, you, you know, you're not a teacher. Let's, let me let me not go there. Be, be mistreated by any, any personnel at the school. You, you're going to be ready to buck. Knock and buck. Girl, I'm going to leave you alone for right now. Tell me what y'all think down there in the comments. What would you have done? What, what do you think needs to be done? She definitely never needs to work with kids, ever. She need, she don't need to work with children. She don't need to work with elderly. She don't need to work with the sick because she don't have, she have no compassion. You, you you marked out of that. We don't we, we we can't have you around people. We gotta put you probably in a. We might can let you go in the factory, but we don't know how you may um uh, feel. You know how you gonna react if somebody you know you don't like the way somebody work. You know you might decide you wanna scare them with you. I don't know how you're going to scare the adults. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, girl. You're a liability risk. Anyway, y'all, like I said, I was too through. Too, too through. So, I don't even know what. I, I lost my train of thought after that shit. I was like, girl, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm still on coffee. And I swear to you, it's about noon time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, y'all. I got a slow start this weekend. With um, yeah, not this weekend, cause it's the beginning of the week. Yeah, but anyway, y'all. So what I'm gonna get myself up and do? I just wanted to come here and share that story with you guys. I've been trying to share that story with you guys for over a week, and then um, just hadn't gotten around to doing so. But um, what else I had to talk to you guys about? 
Y'all still say we are on our way on the road to 200 subs. I see y'all coming in. I see y'all. I see y'all. Hey, girl. Hey, what's going on? Shoot. I need to hear y'all. I need to. I, I want to know who y'all are, too. Y'all, I see y'all watching. I don't know who y'all. Who are you? Talk to your girl down there in them comments. Let me know who you are, where you're from, what you rep. All that good shit. Yeah. Y'all got some new stuff coming up. I'm so excited about that I've been working out. I'm finally starting to see the light, uh, you know, with that. So, like, I'm not speaking too much on I'm just telling y'all God is so good, and he's always working. He's always working. Even when I'm not working, he's working. Thank you. Thank you. So, I have new business endeavors coming. I have new, which also going to bring new content. Um... Just hold our horses. We got stuff coming. What y'all got going on? Is there any um, new content creators on here? Content creators, period. Um, I, I like to do this thing. Each one, teach one. You support me, I support you. If you are a new content creator and you're trying to grow your channel, you don't even have to be new. If you're trying to grow your channel, y'all drop your um, names down in the comments. You know what I'm saying? So I can subscribe to your channel. And cause, because I thank all of you guys for subscribing to mine. I'm telling you. This it is very... I am beyond ex excited about this because y'all ecstatic, shall I say. Because I told you guys, I started out with three subs. Three subscribers. And I started out not telling none of my friends and family. Because I want this to be a new venture for me. You know, just a new thing that I was doing. So, most of you guys are new to me. Some of my family has caught on to the grave train because they know... I'm always vlogging now, so some of them are over here now, some family and friends. But most of you guys are people that I don't know. So I appreciate you guys for taking out the time of your busy schedules, sitting there and listening to me run my mouth. Because you know I be, y'all know I be chopping this shit up, running my mouth. So I told you guys before, every 100 subscriber, I plan on going live, turning this thing up. We had our first turn up when I got my first 100. Now I'm on the road to two. So once I get to y'all, we turning this thing up again. We going live. I, I just go live to tell you guys thank you and to let you guys know how much I appreciate the support. I do. I do. If you're new to the channel, y'all, make sure you um, um, like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Come on with that. Come through with it. And if you're returning, y'all thumbs up the video. Share the video. Do whatever we got to do to grow this channel because we on our way up. We going up here. I told my husband, once I get on up here, well, I'm on my way up. So it's time for me to start preparing. I need the things that I need to be successful, to be great. I'm not going to do this just to be doing it. I'm doing this to be great. So I need some equipment. Come on, baby. Your girl needs some equipment. I want that camera. I want the camera. I want this camera. And I want me some um, a microphone, a quality microphone. I got a little light. My lighting is old. And I really don't know how to use it. I probably can make it work. I just got to figure this thing out to be more on point. So, y'all been growing with me. Y'all seen me who I started from just all quiet. And, and now you like, girl, shut the up. Because <laughs> I never shut up. Like, it, I, for what? Hmm. Oh, y'all see my hair? I, I got to figure out a style for my hair, y'all. So this is my new color, guys. Hmm. Yeah. I know I didn't do no different style or anything, but I got to come up with something. And I'm just lazy. I'm not creative in that way right now. I wanted to do me some little plaits, put me some little twists up here and see, and just let my back do what it do. But we're going to see, y'all. I told my daughter I need a makeover. I did. I colored my hair. I thought that would be the makeover, but I feel like I still need a new look. But I ain't tripping. I I, I need a new look though. I need a, a new look. What I'm finna do, I think, is um, I got all my plants watered up the other day, so I may get a chance to dust today. I need to dust. I don't know. Yeah, I may dust. Ooh, I might. Yeah, but I don't feel like it. We gonna see. We gonna see. I gotta do something today because um, this I work every day this week, and which means if I don't do something 
today. You know, I need to do little things so that I don't get behind on my housework. And my kids been here, so it's, um, yeah, it's up over here. It's up. They don't pick up after they sell. They just eat, sleep, and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I got going on over here. I got my, um, I want to, um, I need to take my iPad to the shop. I may start using my iPad to, um, see if I can get some work done on that. But it's a, it's a little older generation, so I don't even think I like the lighting as much. But I'm going to take it to the shop and see if I can get my screen fixed. My grandbaby cracked my screen. And I don't like the way it looks. So that's on my agenda for this week, too. I'm going to let them tell me, do they do they think it's worth getting fixed? Or do I need to invest in a new one? So, but that's that on that. Anyway, guys, I'm getting out of here. I just came on to say great rising, great rising, great rising. And tell you guys about this story, about this young this daycare center. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. So until my next upload, y'all, be blessed. Love on somebody today. And um, I holla. Peace out, y'all. Come and pick up your